Thank you, Adam. It was a volatile week for stocks. Investors reacting to worries over trade deals, the Federal Reserve, rising oil prices, and, of course, earnings news as well. How should you plan to navigate the week ahead? The founder and the chief investment officer of the Bonson Group is with me, David Bonson, joining me right now. David, it's great to see you. Great to be with Thank you, Thank you so much for joining us. So we had the Fed minutes out this week. They basically signal that we are going to see another interest rate hike in June, in the June meeting. And then, of course, all the worries about J- uh, trade. How are you positioned right now? Well, we have been somewhat defensive in kind of a moderate balance positioning most of the year. And so we were probably a little early getting defensive. And then right now you could say, OK, well, it's a good place to be. But the problem is bonds are not really diversifying from equities very well. Um, I think that people have to understand that if the market is vulnerable because of rising rates, then your bonds and stocks are going to be heavily correlated together. So it's affected the way you want to think about asset allocation this year. Overall fear about the market, though, on the stock side. Side. We're very heavy in energy, which has helped us quite a bit. That's great. And we're heavy in a lot more defensive type stocks, which has helped, except for with names like consumer staples and telecom. Those have lagged. Energy, uh, the price of oil all the way up to what? 72? 72 so on, on WTI. That's yeah. right. And and yet a lot of the energy stocks had really kind of held back. Chevron and Exxon just started to rally more in this last month. But we think there's a huge disconnect to where the whole energy sector, not just commodity price sensitive ones. We have the jobs number out a week from today, a week from this weekend. Um, the economy's been doing better, Very well. almost full employment. We had the Federal Reserve earlier this week say, yeah, we are signaling that we will see another interest rate increase in June. Good move? Well, so it's, it's kind of inevitable. We watch the Fed futures market quite a bit. The June one has been pretty well priced in for a few months. So what's interesting is December now, the Fed futures market's pointing about 50 percent chance of that happening. It had been much lower. So that fourth rate hike on the year is the one that could be more material. I'm, I'm suspect if they'll really do it. I don't but think it, so. it's so far in advance; anything can happen. But one thing I'd really encourage uh, viewers is when we talk about the economic data, we are so for, uh, centered around the consumer and and centered around the unemployment number. But I really think it's the capex. It's what's happening in business investment that matters. If the business tax reform works as well as I believe it's going to, and early indications show, you're going to see it in business investment, which takes a little while. The unemployment number comes every month. It's a big headline issue, but, but really, it's not moving stocks. It hasn't for a long time. I think if you start seeing industrial production, capital goods orders, these were the things that were so lacking through the entire Obama administration years. Right now, if you see, that's what will represent the next layer. Of a bull and market. it doesn't matter to you if we see a consumer that's iffy. This week, Lowe's fell apart. Others as well. I mean, Tiffany did really well. Yeah, and of course, you, that's the thing about the consumer space is that you have going to be bifurcated. It's going to be very bifurcated, and then with Lowe's, you have CEO changes. And that's true. The high end Good of the point. market it functions different than low end. So here, I think the consumer and the retailer are two different things, and people often put them together. David, it's great to see you. Great to see Thank you. Thank you so much, David Bonson, the author of Crisis of Response. Responsibility. Don't-